for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, for the present time, we have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Now, with this Knight of Wands showing up in your reading, it's going to be a great time in April for travel. Well, we're, at, we're in quarantine right now, but that's what this Knight of Wands is about. It's about some type of travel, travel if you can manage to get away, which you probably can't. Um, because I say this, you're going to be feeling charged up with a lot of energy when you get the Knight of Wands. Ready to get a lot of things done. If you can't travel, just getting a lot of things done. Your self-confidence, it will probably be increasing. And this should help reach any type of goals that you have in mind. Keep in mind, the Knights, they're often message bearers. They come with messages. The messages, they're positive messages. It could be related to work or career, or it could go either way, family, romance, um, your projects. They are likely to have been more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel really pride, to feel a lot of pride, a lot of reasons in April. Now this Knight of Wands, it's paired with the Queen of Cups. Uh, this is a woman that will be he very helpful to you, very helpful. The Queen of Cups reminds us to bring love and compassion to our work. And that's going to be possible even if you work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. Things are much better for you in your working world when this card appears than you're realizing. So I know a lot of us are not working. We're in quarantine. But maybe if you start something, it will turn out to be better than you're realizing. Start a new project. Do something online. Um, maybe start a YouTube channel. It will, it will be much better than you're realizing, much better than you're anticipating. And you've got the showing up with the Knight of Wands also. So make sure you do something. It will be better than not doing anything in April because you've got two really positive cards for prosperity showing up for the present time in April. Now, once again, the present time is the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So, what I'm showing is that you're going to be fearless. You'll be, you'll be feeling fearless and really brave and bold and confident about a person. And if it's not a person, it's a situation. Or someone could be coming towards you like this. And this person will remind you to... be loving and compassionate or they'll be offering you love and compassion okay and it could help you with a work situation maybe it'll just give you the confidence and the inspiration that you need to expand your work increase your finances but this Knight of Wands, keep in mind, it could be a, a positive news message. Something that you've been waiting to hear. It's coming in. If it's not a situation or a message, it's a person. And like I said, this person will uh, remind you about love and compassion. Uh, they could be very nurturing for you. Okay, or like I said, it could be a situation that's going to be nurturing to you. And it's going to help you with your work and your finance in a really good way. So that's what we have for the present time. Gemini, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see how your person is viewing you. Now they view you as this Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it's about necessary efforts. You're going to have a lot on your plate when you get the Eight of Pentacles. A lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. So it's about being dedicated to the task. Just keep in mind, if, it, if you let it work for its own sake, it could be counterproductive. So you have to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance 
No one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles, it's about a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you have to prepare for it. So, this is how your person is seeing you, Gemini. They see you very passionate about them. They see you very motivated and inspired to keep this connection going. I don't know if you can see the picture of this Eight of Pentacles, but uh, he's working really hard. He's working until the nighttime. It looks like it was afternoon and now it's getting dark. And guess what? It's pouring down raining. So, and he's still working. He's not stopping. So, your person they see is just wanting to master this connection. And you enjoy being with them. So, they see you like this Eight of Pentacles, but they also see you like the Knight of Swords. Now, just to explain the Knight of Swords, it's about an upbeat, cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Now, the Nine of Swords, it points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. It's going to be good news. The Nine, it points to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. And you will not feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. So you'll be going after whatever your heart desires. So this is how they also see you, Gemini, like the Knight of Swords. So with these two cards paired together, Knight of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, the Eight of Pentacles, they see you wanting to master the connection. And you're, you're very inspired about them. And with the Eight of Swords, um, you bring a lot of, they see you as bringing a lot of positive energy. They see you bring really good, good to this connection. They see you bringing a lot of good to this connection. And you're not lazy about it. You, you're, you make plans and you, you're active about this connection so they see you they know that you want to keep it going and you have plans to make it work yeah you want to master it and and you have no plans of stopping you're charging in like this man on this 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 animal whatever that is he's got his sword in his hand and he's taking off in the clouds really fast that's how they see you gemini you're coming in and you're not stopping and you got a lot of passion Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you view them as the Ace of Cups and also the Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Cups, it's a very, very powerful card in the tarot when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Very positive. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings and it usually means love, but it can it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. It can. Things will be looking up. Things will be looking up when you get the Ace of Cups. People. They'll respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. And you should be feeling really good about life in general. This is a great time to make friends. Even though we're in quarantine. Um, so maybe online. So that explains the Ace of Cups, and this is how you see your person. You see them very warm, and you see them as having a deep attraction for you, Gemini. They're very happy with you, and they want a new beginning with you, or they want to make this connection feel like a new beginning. Or it does feel like a new beginning. So they, you, you see them in um, a really good way. Happiness. Like I said, a lot of warmth. 
And you also see them as the Ace of Swords, which is, like I said, the Aces are about new beginnings. New beginnings, some sort in your life when you get the Ace of Swords, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes the new beginning is started by some type of separation from some kind, from a relationship, job, or situation. Just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can be, sometimes underneath it all it's beneficial energy to get you to where you want to go. The Ace of Swords causing us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. So you see them as the as these two aces, one with the sword and one with the cup. One, um, the cup is a cup of love, warmth, deep attraction, and the uh, swords is about cutting out something. So they have to, you see them as knowing that they have to cut out something to continue or to keep, to keep getting this, this, this warm, deep attraction and this new beginning with you or to keep it feeling like a new beginning there's something that they need to put a stop to and you see them as needing to do this something they have to stop could be uh, leaving behind a job situation it could be leaving behind someone from their past could be leaving behind um, some type of addiction. Could be, they have to leave something behind to continue to receive this love that's in this connection. This great love with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Something has to be put to a stop. So you see them as facing some type of challenge just to keep this new beginning or this wonderful love with well, the wonderful love connection with you. So once again, that's how you see them. Let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the three of wands and the five of swords. Now the three of wands, you'll probably find that your finances, they're gonna, they're gonna be much better than you thought with the three of wands in fact it's going to feel like your ship has finally come in and you'll be feeling very strong with a good reason you could be experiencing some some success after you've been through some difficulty now this three of wands it refers to work it usually does in an extremely positive way even if you don't work outside the home it means that your efforts they're seen, appreciated, and well-respected. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. You or your person, you're looking ahead for expansion and growth, and it feels like the, the connection is finally coming together. It feels like it in a really good way. Like finally, there's teamwork here. You know, we're finally ex expanding and growing. So it feels good, this connection. is just one of the reasons why it's happening. But it's with the Five of Swords, which is an interesting card. You see this man running around. Looks like he's in the mountains and there's wolves ahead of him. He looks like he's ready to cut anyone's head off, okay? So just to explain this card to you, this Five of Swords is about finding yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life. It could be about a few people in particular. And it's important to not ignore how you're feeling, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because... I say this, you could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So you're going to have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you feel they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. So, uh, why this is happening? The Three of Wands, 
and the Five of Swords, uh, the connection feels really good. It feels like teamwork and it's growing with this Three of Wands. And it's feeling like things are finally coming together. But uh, you or your person has some type of mixed feelings about this connection. Yeah, and it, it could cause some um, conflict. Yeah, there's, there's some conflict in this connection. So it's about thinking calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers are. And um, just know that, yeah, there's conflict there about certain situations. And you can't ignore your feelings when you got this Five of Swords. It's important to discuss and talk a lot about these mixed feelings. And have a lot of conversations. But you got to think several times before you let, let your person have it, even if you know they deserve it. You got to pick your battles with this Five of Swords because this, I mean, well, maybe you or your person, Gemini, um, want expansion and growth and is looking ahead and the connection feels really good. Could be the both of you feeling this way or it could be just you or your, your person. Because there is um, some mixed feelings. Someone is having mixed feelings. And it creates some conflict. Okay, so this could be you or your person. Or it could be the both of you. So these two cards could go either way. And that's why it's happening. So basically... We've got um, someone working really hard. They want this connection to to grow. They want to keep it going for how they see you. You know, this man is working day and night, so they they want they want to keep it going. They want it to work. They want to put in time and effort, and they want to with the Knight of Swords. Um, they want to come in and they want to come in fast with this Knight of Swords and bring in a lot of good good things to this connection. And um, you're seeing them as this Ace of Cups wanting to make this feel like a new beginning. But there's something that, that has to stop first. Yeah, there could be a few a few things that could be coming in really exciting or they want to make a lot of, you see them as wanting to make a lot of great things for this connection because you got two aces there. But something has to come to a stop. Something. Uh, something that's probably not good because I'm picking up that that's what this Five of Swords is about. Uh, these mixed feelings is because there's something that they haven't put a stop to yet that's causing problems in the connection. But it's still continuing to work because there's you or your person that really wants expansion and growth and you're looking ahead. And it feels like teamwork a lot of times with the Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands here.